what's up you guys? I just want to take some time to talk to you a bit about one of my favorite, favorite sitcoms growing up when I was a kid. And um, I still watch the show to this day. It's one of my all-time favorite shows from the 90s. And so, of course, you know, the 90s was a great time for television, for music, for movies, and for fashion. And so it was just a great time, you know. And so this happens to be the 33rd anniversary of this show. What show am I talking about? Family Matters. And so this show touches a special place in my heart. And it is, in my honest opinion, one, one of the greatest shows ever created. And, you know, for me, growing up as a black kid, you know, growing up watching shows that my family watched, um, shows from back in the day like Good Times, Sanford and Son, The Jeffersons, Cosby Show, of course, you know, and shows like Family Matters, you know, and to see an African-American family, a middle-class African-American family from Chicago, you know, and, you know, just the beautiful family dynamic, you know, seeing, you know, a father who is a police officer and a mother who worked as a elevator operator and then working in a department store and everything, the aunt who owns a restaurant and a cool grandmother, you know, and um, the kids, of course, and, you know, the annoying, nerdy next door neighbor, Steve Urkel, you know, and so um, I love the show and I still love it to this day. And so for me, you know, growing up as a black kid, it was just beautiful to see a black family, a solid black family consisting of both a mother and a father, you know, and a grandmother and an aunt, you know. And so it was just beautiful, you know, and and seeing all the kids on there, you know, the siblings, you know, the three siblings, you know, the older brother, the middle sister, and the younger sister, and, um, and their young cousin, you know. And so it was just beautiful. And so Family Matters, the show was created by William Bickley and Michael Warren, they also created Perfect Strangers, and Robert Boya and Thomas Miller produced the, sh the show. And Robert and Thomas have produced these timeless classics that we all love to this day. You know, shows like Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, Perfect Strangers, of course, Family Matters, Full House, Step by Step, all these shows that I grew up watching and that I still love to this day. And so, you know, when it comes to solid family entertainment, Robert Boya and Thomas Miller were definitely the best to do it, you know? And so I grew up watching those shows and I still love those shows to this day. And so Family Matters, of course, is a show that was a spinoff from Perfect Strangers. And so, um, it introduced us to the character of Harriet Winslow, played by Jo Marie Payton Noble. And so her character, you know, the spinoff was specifically written for her character of Harriet Winslow, you know, to introduce us to the rest of the Winslow family, her husband Carl, her sister Rachel, Rachel Crawford, um, her mother-in-law, Mother Winslow, who was Carl's mother, you know, and of course the kids, um, Eddie, Laura, and Judy, and their cousin Richie, you know, and of course the, the nerdy next door neighbor that came along, Steve Urkel, you know, and so the show, the show was centered around, you know, different things that the Winslows were dealing with, like most families, you know, um, Growing up, you know, for the kids and everything, you know, for the kids, you know, going to school and dealing with all kinds of things that normal kids deal with, you know, um, with with school, you know, homework, tests, um, a crush on a boy and things like that. Um, and then maturing, growing up, up, you know, teenage years and everything and hormones and everything and different things that, that come along, you know, with being a teenager and then transitioning into an adult, you know? And of course, the things that the adults, you know, were dealing with as well, you know? Um, Harriet and Carl, you know, in terms of their marriage and their relationship and everything, and going through the ups and downs of a relationship, you know, and everything. And um, the grandmother and the aunt, you know? And, you know, it's just, 
it was just wonderful, you know, seeing, you know, all these different segments of the show, you know, pertaining to different members of the family, you know. And so um, even when Steve Urkel came along, Jaleel White's character, you know, when Jaleel White came along as Steve Urkel, you know, um, during that time, um, they were really trying to develop a strong character who will be the funny one, who will be the standout character. And so they thought that Harriet was going to be the funny one. They thought that Carl was going to be the funny one or Rachel was going to be the funny one. Like who was going to be the comedic one? And so it was really hard for them to decide who was going to be the funny one during the first season of the show since the show ran for nine seasons. And so during the first season, they were kind of struggling on who is going to be the funny one. And then when Steve Urkel came along, when Jaleel White came along as Steve Urkel, they realized that, aha, this is going to be the funny one. And so when Steve Urkel came on, you know, there was a roar, you know, a huge laugh from the audience, you know, when Jaleel came on and knocked it out of the park as his character, the audience grown to love him and the, the, the creators of the character loved him. And they started writing more for Jaleel, for his character. And, and before long, Jaleel became the series regular, you know? And so Steve Urkel was the go-to guy, you know, for the jokes, for the punchlines, and for all the funny physical stuff and everything. And so Steve Urkel was definitely that one character, you know, that really pushed the show. And, um, and really put Jaleel White on the map, you know? And so, even when Jaleel joined the cast, you know, um, according to Jaleel himself, you know, he wasn't well welcomed by his peers, you know, especially amongst the adults. But he, Darius McCrary, Kelly Shaneen Williams, Brighton James, they all formed a friendship later on. And they're all still close to this day. And so it was the adults that Jaleel was having a hard time, you know, trying to forge a relationship with, you know. And so I definitely feel for him. I definitely feel for, you know, um, Joe Marie, um, for Reggie and for and for Telma, you know, um, during that time. And so um, when you have a big character like Steve Urkel, you know, um, who, who was like, who, who was like this juggernaut, you know, who was pushing the show, you know. When the creators, you know, decided on, you know, using Jaleel's character to really push this thing, to, to really push this rock at Gibraltar, you know, there was a bit of friction, you know, amongst the adult characters, you know, amongst the adults in the show, you know seeing, you know, this 12-year-old kid come in, you know, as this nerdy next-door neighbor, you know, and, um, and Jaleel, of course, you know, he played other characters on the show as well. Um, he played Steve's cousin Myrtle. Um, he also did his alter ego, Stefan Urkel. He also did another alter ego, um, Bruce Lee. Um, he also did this, um, did this street kid by the name of OGD original gangster dog, you know, and so Jaleel played quite a bit of characters in the show. Um, and so, um, and so again, you know, um, the character of Steve Urkel really put Jaleel on the map, but it really wasn't something that Jaleel was pushing towards, you know, it wasn't something that Jaleel set out to do. He didn't set out to, you know, become this popular character. He never set out for that, you know, and so, and so that was the thing, you know, he just came in just to do a job and he didn't expect all this to happen. You know, um, the popularity of Steve Urkel and the Urkel doll and the cereal and the board game and the dance and all that, you know, they just all just pretty much snowballed. It just all pretty much happened. You know, it wasn't like Jaleel set out to do it. You know, he was just he just came in to do a job and get his check and go home and go on about his business. You know, he. He loved acting, he also loved basketball and everything. He loved cooking and all that stuff, you know? And so he just came in just to do a job. He really didn't think anything of it, you know? He just came in just to do a job and everything, you know? And so, um, and so Jaleel White, you know, 
um, behind the scenes, he's very humble, very down to earth, you know. And so he really, you know, definitely, you know, definitely credit, you know, to his parents, you know, for doing such a great job with him, you know, and for keeping him grounded and everything. And, um, and that pretty much explains, you know, Jaleel's relevance, you know, to this day, you know, in the industry, which causes him to be able to do other projects and to be able to do, to do you know, reality, you know, sh shows, game shows like Total Blackout and everything. I believe he did Dancing with the Stars also. And so um, a lot of other things, and I'm excited for Jaleel's, you know, endeavors as well, you know, his future endeavors and everything. And um, he's a father, he has a daughter, and um, I'm definitely happy for him. And so, um, so Jaleel, you know, a blessing is coming to you, man. And so God has something great for you, you know. And even with all the all the cast as well, you know, with you know, with the mother on the show, Jill Marie, you know, she's wonderful, of course, you know. Um, Reginald Bell Johnson, who played Carl Winslow, he's a great actor also. Um, and, you know, Thelma Hopkins, who played Rachel, she was wonderful on the show as well. She's very funny. Um, she's also a great singer as well. Um, Joe Marie is also a great singer also. And so, um, yeah, you know, the cast was very talented, very multi-talented. Darius McCrary, who played Eddie Winslow, he's an incredible singer as well. He's a singer, musician, songwriter, and an artist in his own right. And so he's amazing too, and he's still doing a lot of great work to this day, you know. And so, um... He even has his own podcast as well, you know? And so um, all the cast have grown up to do great things, you know? Um, Kelly Shanine Williams, who played Laura Winslow, um, she's happily married um, with a beautiful family, you know, great husband, you know, kids and everything. And she's still keeping busy and everything. She's doing a lot of, um, she's doing a lot of work, you know, really, um, re really working on, you know, giving young talent a chance and everything. And so she's been really working hard on that, you know, getting into production and everything and, you know, all different things. And so uh, I'm definitely happy for her. Um, Brighton James, who played Richie Crawford, um, he has grown up to be a great actor as well. And so he's still doing it. Um, Jamie Foxworth, who played Judy Winslow, um, I personally feel that they should have written episodes specifically for Jamie's character so that we would actually get to know who Judy Winslow is so that we can see her not only as the younger sister, you know, and so she was pretty much just there. They could have at least written some episodes for her so that we can actually get to know who Judy is. We already got to know the rest of the family, but what about Judy? What about us getting to know Jamie's character? You know, and so Jamie Foxworth, you know, everything that everything that she went through, you know, growing up, you know, and she's a Christian as well. And I remember listening to an interview that she did with Armand Wiggins, which was one, which was the most powerful interview I've ever heard. And listening to her testimony, her testimony really made me cry. And it was just beautiful to see how God took her through everything that she went through and she came out on the other side better than ever before and so it was just wonderful and just goes to show you know the very thing that was meant for evil god has turned it around for her good you know and so no matter what it is that you're going through no matter what it is that you're dealing with you know we all go through things and so you know i truly believe that when it comes to <laughs> us going through you know the highs and lows of life you know because life is life has levels you know and so we have to go through the good the bad and the ugly we have to you know learn every lesson that comes with it you know and so life is a constant teacher and so there's so much to learn you know and so the, the last thing we could ever do is judge someone and so we're all going to do something. And so all we can do is just love each other, you know, and pray for them, you know. And so I was so moved and touched by Jamie's testimony. And it really spoke to me. And 
it just goes to show that, you know, God's grace is sufficient, you know? And that very thing was meant, that very thing, what was meant for evil, God has turned it around for your good, you know? And so it was just beautiful listening to her testimony. And I truly believe that her testimony is going to save a whole lot of lives of young girls, young boys, young men, and young women, you know? And so her testimony is going to save a whole lot of lives. And I'm so happy for her. I am so happy for her. And so um, the show, you know, the show is one of my all-time favorite shows, even to this day, you know. While I wish that things could have been a little bit better in terms of, you know, the writers and things like, things of that nature, you know, because I understood that there were predominantly white writers on the show. Um, Jaleel, of course, you know, he lent a hand in, you know, writing a bit, you know, in a couple of episodes, you know with his character and everything, um, just to kind of, you know, even it out a bit and get some, you know, and get, and get some ideas, you know, from, from black actors and everything. And, and, um, and Jaleel himself, you know, he's a writer, producer as well, you know? And so, um, and so, yeah, you know, um, I personally feel that the show could have been, you know, in terms of the writing, you know, there could have been, they could have had some some black writers on board, you know, for the characters, you know, and um, so that we can really, you know, so, so that we can really see more of who the Winslows are. You know, we know them to be a black family, you know, and, you know, and for us as black people, you know, we know how we how we do, you know, in terms of how we speak and everything, how we roll and everything. And so even the actors and actresses on the show who um, also dealt with some things concerning the writers and everything, because they knew that that's not the way we we flow. You know, there are certain things that has been written, you know, in the scripts, you know, certain things that we as black people don't actually do, you know, and so. And so that was the thing, you know, and so and so the cast was definitely very vocal about it, you know. But nevertheless, you know, um, even with all of that, you know, the show still, you know, still is loved to this day. You know, I still love the show to, the, to this day, you know. Um, I wish that there could have been more adjustments, you know. I wish it could have been better, you know. I wish that they could have written episodes for Jamie's character, Judy Winslow, you know. I wish that they could have kept Joe Marie, you know, during the last season of the show, you know. Um, Judy Ann Elder is a great actor, I mean, actress, excuse me. She's a great actress as well, you know, Judy Ann Elder, she's wonderful. But I wish that they could have kept Joe Marie on there as Harriet, you know, because, because she was the mother, you know. And so um, while they replaced, you know, Jennifer Hubbard, you know, on The Fresh Prince and replaced her with Daphne Maxwell Reed, you know, as the new Vivian during that time. And so, um, and so when they did the same thing with Harriet Winslow, you know, on Family Matters, it definitely reminded me of what they did on The Fresh Prince, you know. And so, and so, yeah, they could have did things a little bit better. They could have adjusted things. They could have tweaked things a little bit better, you know. But it's still a great show, you know, it's still a great show and I still love it to this day, you know. And um, favorite episodes, I really can't choose a favorite, you know, because they were all so good and they all, you know, had lessons, you know. That's the wonderful thing about Family Matters. That's the wonderful things about shows like Family Matters and Full House, that there's always a lesson, that there's always that moment, that very moment at the end of the show where there's a lesson, you know, which made the show beautiful. You know, and so, um, yeah, you know, um, one wonderful show. Um, and, the, and the specials, of course, when they went to Disney World and when they went to Paris, you know, that was awesome, you know, for them to actually, you know, be on location, you know, which was amazing, you know, I thought that was awesome. And so, um, and also, um, Michelle Thomas, when she came in to play Steve's girlfriend, Myra, um, when Michelle came in and rest in peace, Michelle, um, she was wonderful. 
Um, and behind the scenes, she's just as nice and sweet as her character. Um, even though her character, Myra, kind of had a dark side a bit. <laughs> um, but still, you know, Michelle Thomas was just a wonderful, wonderful actress, and she is still missed to this day. You know, um, that smile of hers, those eyes, you know, she was just a wonderful, wonderful actress, and she's still missed to this day, you know. And so, yeah, um, the show is wonderful, and I still love it to this day. And so, happy anniversary, Family Matters, to the cast of Family Matters. Thank you so much for making my childhood, you know, and so I'm so, I'm so happy for all the cast that are doing exceptionally well, and I pray that God will continue to bless each and every one of them on their future endeavors as well. And so, yeah, you guys, and so I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'm looking forward to sharing more great stuff with you guys, and so... I'm excited. And so you guys take care. God bless you. Peace.